Alright guys, so it's been a minute since I recorded and we're gonna start this video off here. So today is, what is it, Thursday today and I had a full day of work plus a workout. And a new low in after a refeed day. So what I had was I had yesterday a refeed day at 200 grams of protein, 450 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat. End the night with like four sushi rolls and then uh, I think it was like seven servings of cereal. Uh, woke up at a new low at 183.4. And so today I have another refeed. My coach is like, yeah, we're going to do like back-to-back -back refeeds from now on. So like that's what we're doing. So today's another refeed. Uh, didn't do sushi today. Had like a lot of pasta. Um, and I'm going to end the night with cereal again. But, uh, wait, what was this? Uh, a couple days ago, I wanted to record a workout, like a, like a motivational workout edit for you guys. And I just wasn't feeling it. Like I recorded like two movements. And so I'm going to play the clip right here. I don't really care if you cry. Basically, sum it all up. I ended up feeling like crap. I said, ah, cut it, cut it, cut it. We cannot do this. James is my brother, by the way. Um, but yeah, I was like, cut it, James. We can't record. I just need to focus on this workout. I need to get a good workout. Right here, this big bag, this big black bag, is uh, the Elf Fleet stuff here. So we're going to open this up. Okay, so I have. What the? Okay, so a great cut off. Really? Come on, Elfleet. Usually it's supposed to be like laid nice and flat. I guess we'll see how this one's like super flat and perfect. They said screw you, Carlin. Um, yeah, so I got those. Those were two cut offs. Um, this is a long sleeve Crip t shirt. Script t shirt. My package is already open in the underwear. Wow, they must have been in a rush. Um, but yeah, and I got three underwears. Underwear, black. The light gray. It looks white in, per in like the pictures, but it's light gray. And navy blue. So, let's do this review. See how that rhymed. So the first shirt I'm taking out is the long sleeve script. And the reason why I got this is because I don't own any white shirts. Reason being, I don't feel like I look good in white. Anyways, so I got white. I think it's gonna look dope, I hope. But yeah, the long sleeve and the script, meaning like there's like a uh, script writing right there. I also have like two shirts. I got like a light blue one and a dark, or a dark black one, which I made into a cutoff. And then in the back is like the same thing as the cutoffs. As you can see like the lining that goes down right there. Um, that's pretty much it, I think for the shirt. So we're gonna try this on in a second here. And then I got two cutoffs here. Um, nothing on the front and it has the badge on the back. Also with those lines that go down. And then it separates right here on the side. I actually, if you guys are thinking about getting these, I highly recommend you do. They look, actually look like super sick. You look super, you know, big in the gym. And I really do recommend these. Then I got the olive one. Plain on the front again. Has the uh, badge on the back with the lines that go down with the cut right here. So yeah, size medium and actually everything. So I'll just put all the measurements right here. I've been doing measurements. Anyways, I'll put them all right here. And they're going to be in the description box, so check that out if you guys are curious or if you guys forget. Alright, so I went outside because I have my tripods in my vehicle, and there's uh, that right there. The first vehicle is a fire truck. The one behind is Gold Cross. I don't know what's going down. I'm a little confused. Hope everyone's okay. But, um, we're going to get this tripod out. Back. Alright, so we got it. 
now we can record the uh, on Carlin part of this review. Because I know you guys are all dying to see that already. Okay, so I had to take a cereal break because I'm getting hungry. And, oh, is this zoomed in? No, okay. Yeah, I had to take a zero cereal break because I'm getting hungry and it's like 8.30. I want to stretch my macros by, by like nine. I'm um, using 30 calorie almond milk here and my two series of choices, Captain Crunch, like just like the yellow ones and then Fruity Pebbles. All right guys, so I just ate this cereal and I'm about to jump onto this underwear review. Now, put all my measurements for like my lower body on the screen and they'll be in the description box, but here we go. What I have on here is the navy one. So obviously you got the band right here, which is gonna be super, super dope. Uh, if I like I'm wearing shorts or whatever. And obviously you see with the shirt, it's, these are really short, all right? So really tight on the quads, super, super like extremely soft. I really like these. Here's like the back side. But yeah, I really like them. And if you guys, I've never had like Kelvin Klein underwear or anything like that. It's, so I don't really know how to compare those or I can't really say, I can't put my input in. Um, I want to get a pair soon and then I'll put my input in. Other than that, these feel super comfortable. So if I had to imagine what Kevin Klein feels like, I would say they feel like this. Um, super soft. I feel like, you know, jump. I feel like I could, oh yeah, I could squat. Everything's good. Uh, the only issue is it just feels a bit tight on my on the lower part of my uh, quad right here or where the underwear ends and I think that's so it doesn't like ride up you know because when you no one likes when that stuff rides anyways you guys you males know what I'm talking about at least um, but yeah let's jump on into the rest of this review and try on some of the clothes I'm gonna put on the long sleeve now <sighs> noticing right away it's Pretty tight, uh, especially on the arms. It has like a nice um, fabricy, like stretchy feel right off the bat. So here it goes. I'm gonna change this down here. So here it goes. Size medium. It's long. I usually like to rock my shirts like this, so kind of tuck it over my butt. So it kind of folds down this way here. Nice feel. I have a, like a long mirror right here. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, nice snug on the arms. Obviously after watch, it was gonna shrink down a bit and then I'll be able to, you know, rock it perfectly. But yeah, I really actually do like this white shirt a lot. Um, it's real dope. And if you want to, to kind of pull up the sleeves a little bit, then you, I mean, you can. Actually, it's kind of hard um, to roll up the sleeves. But yeah, you get the idea. Now, I've already done a review on the cutoffs, but um, I had a subscriber ask like, hey, can you touch base on the cutoff? So I will do that real fast. So let's do it. Okay, so I have the olive one, which is gonna be the one I'm gonna try on. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, they do not look good with these joggers. So I have these uh, like grayish, greenish joggers on, Nike Tech, uh, so don't mind that. But anyways, this is size medium. Um, real nice fit on the arms here, I mean, if you're gonna like, you know, hit shoulders, let's see, I have doubles. So let's say you're at the gym, right? Oh yeah, this is like, this is like perfect guys. Cause if you really wanna like, have like nice swag, like maybe rock this, you know, out in the boat, you're at the beach, you know, you're walking, you're chilling. It's cause it looks nice. Cause of like, this part here, kinda comes out, look nice and aesthetic. And then you have like the badge on the back. So you, you know, you're just walking, you're chilling. Awesome, yeah, it's time for the gym. Well. I already got my workout shirt, right? Because it's cut off on the arms, it gets to show all that definition, especially when hitting shoulders, all that good stuff. Highly recommend you guys get you a tank because you look sick in the gym. Um, but yeah, that's gonna cover the review. Probably gonna edit this portion of the video and I'll touch base with you guys in the morning. All right guys, so just woke up. I wash my face and stuff, get myself kind of more awake for the gym. What I do is I use like super cold water, splash on my face like 10 times, and that usually does a trick. Um, but obviously you're still gonna feel tired, but it just helps to wake me up. Um, just went to the bathroom, now it's time to weigh in and get this morning away after two days of refeeds. Y'all was not expecting that. 182 flat. That is insane. That is a 1.4 pound decrease from yesterday, which is awesome. 
fast after two refeeds. Refeeds due to the trick, they do kind of boost your metabolism, get you going again. So that was definitely needed. Um, so I'm gonna text that to the coach soon, and then we'll see what the next step there is. Here's my physique right now. Got Jay's in the back there. So it's not looking bad, and I'm about to take my morning subs. So, or supplements, guys. Sorry. Uh, CLA carnitine. Also, I'm going to do the best creatine. I'm using Yohimbine. Fish oils. Metabolism booster. Keto weight loss pills. And then uh, uh, multivitamin. If you guys want me to cover these in a video, let me know. Comment below. And uh, we'll get that going. Okay, so you guys already know about this spam pre-workout here. Like, no tingles. There's no beta alanine in there. So, it's perfect. 250 milligrams of caffeine uh, tastes amazing. I really, really do like this. It's my favorite pre-workout. And then I stopped using the uh, Pump HD just because I feel like I wasn't feeling it anymore after like three cycles of using the tub. So I got this Noxygen, I think that's how it's pronounced, by Pierce Labs. And what this is, guys, is a vas vasodilator, non-stimulant pump product. Opens up your your veins you know and get some more oxygen to your muscle there so that's why I have this increases the pump and increases like the chances of getting like a better workout also muscle endurance and so if you look at this powder it's all clumpy and this is why I don't know why it comes like this but it's like super super sticky and clumpy so if you get it um, don't think it's like bad or anything that's how it comes but yeah guys this is my pre-workout stack and uh, the link for this is going to be in the description box with my code CPO. You save yourself 20%. Other than that, I got this at GNC. You can probably get it at Vitamin Shop. Uh, maybe online even if you go to Pierce Labs. But yeah, I do recommend uh, this product. It works really, really well. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright guys. <laughs> That's why you look in real life and not at the camera screen. Because that happens. But here, we'll, we'll get this one right. I gotta clean this up. Alright, so I just got word from the coach that I need a refeed again. Um, since I hit a prep low on two refeeds. Like, it was like a new low yesterday after the first refeed. And then a super, super good new low after yesterday's refeed. So, um, when you do it right, guys, and you drink your water, watch your sodium intake, you do drop weight. Just trust in the process. About to take this pre-workout here. I'm also super in a, like a super good mood because now I get to refeed again, which is amazing. Um, oh yeah, I'm rocking the uh, Elfly Script white long sleeve with shorts, and then these white uh, like camouflage leggings. Uh, I've been having like on leg days, my back's been hurt really bad, and I've been having like some leg pain, and I think I have shin splints in my right leg. But it's all good. I'm gonna head go to the gym. Gotta grab this tripod, and I will see you guys after this commentary. Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome back to a brand new commentary. So I'm gonna be taking you through my leg workout today, and you have not seen one of these in a long time. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting off with like my warm up to show you guys a few things. Uh, what I do is the forward lunges there, and then I do backward lunges, focusing on getting a pump in my quads. And then I'm moving on to these like side to side kind of lunges here to get my hamstrings warmed up and get things firing there, get blood flowing. Um, and then I moved on to these wide stance squats, uh, just using the uh, bar on the Smith machine uh, just to get some activation there. And so here's my first movement, guys. I'm doing 315, and today I went for a five by three, trying to go heavier, trying to see if the strength is still there. And also, I really actually get a really good sweat going heavy like this. I truly, truly do love going heavy on squats, um, but my body can only tolerate five sets of three at 315, which is fine. That's exactly what I want to go for. Uh, the second movement, which a movement that I've really been doing like almost every leg day now that I really like, is body weight Bulgarian split squats. Now you just put your foot on a bench like that. And then what I like to do is I like to hold my leg with my hands to make sure my quads are firing, getting a really good pump. And I did four sets with each leg and then a total of, I think it was 10 to 12 reps for each leg. And I really, really do enjoy doing that movement. Eventually, as I get better and better, I am gonna start incorporating weight 
but as of right now, I just want to do it body weight so I can get the balance and all that. And then after that, I moved on to a hamstring movement. So I did leg curls for four sets of 12 reps. Kind of went heavyish there. I think I did 100 to 110 pounds. I can't remember exactly. And then I moved on to an isolation quad movement, which was the leg extensions, focusing on squeezing my quads as I get to the top with each leg. Um, and then I moved on to the hyper extension right here, just trying to get some lower back um, muscle recruitment because I haven't been training my lower back like I should. And so I popped in my head, I'm like, all right, let's hit that today. Um, and then the last movement was the uh, standing calf raises. I did three sets, I think, of 15 reps or so. Uh, and then here is me hitting some posing to show you guys where I'm sitting with like my body fat and how I'm actually getting pretty damn cut. So this is very exciting for me. I'm um, excited to see shreds coming back. And yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching or tuning into this commentary. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, everyone. So I think that's going to conclude this video. I have like a nine hour shift ahead of me and has to go prep food and have to figure out what I'm going to do for today's refi because I was not expecting a refi today. So sit down, go through my macros, make sure, make sure everything's like logged because that's what I like to do in the morning is I like to pre-log everything I'm going to eat for the day. That way I can be able to uh, hit my macros at the end of the day. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the Elfleet review and enjoy the video as well. I'm going to be recording a little more often now. My work schedule is kind of slowing down, so I'll be able to post more videos for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment any questions if you have. As always, see you in the next one.